called you one of the kings of comedy like Elvis was the king of rock and roll. The return of Bob Zaney, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Is this on? Yeah, it's on. What's your name? This is Jeff Parle. Sorry. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Nice to meet you. I was watching the show in the sports book, and actually I was watching another team. (laughs) Anyway... What a great, what a pleasure to be here. Right. And I, I got to say, it's Jeff, right? Yes. What, and I watched, no, I seriously, I was watching all three of you. And what a celebration of diversity. <laughs> <laughs> it is a production. <laughs> I had something really weird. Every I, These chairs are the worst, by the way. I want to I <laughs> go on so record. Yes. I'm sure you can edit that out when no. you actually air this. It's live. But uh, no, I feel, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You no, look I good. Do. My lovely wife Erin's over there. You, oh. you and Erin have worked together for years. Hi, Erin. I met Erin when I first emceed uh, one of my first gigs at the Funny Bone in my hometown, which I can't say I gave it up for Lent on the show. I'm not allowed to say. You, you can't say Lent. I can't. Say, <laughs> I can't say. The when did that I'm become from? a dirty word? No, I, no, I can't you know say. It's, it's like logic and reasoning is now hate speech. Yeah, exactly. That's right. exactly what's happened right. in this country, right, Jeff? You know right. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jeff's from New Jersey, Bob. Oh, I love New Jersey. Yeah. I've been there a couple. Ocean Township. Of course. That's enough. No, anyway. no, I was going to say, you just mentioned one of the few positives. There was a po- And yeah. I actually took the expressway or whatever you want to call it. And it was beautiful. So, you know, but I've been in New York. Okay. <laughs> So Bob, yeah, how come your chair's better? Is it because oh, you I, get here earlier? No, I well, well, first off, do you also work at the hot dog stand? <laughs> I should, I should, honestly, because that's where the money's at, well, not this show. So, so I don't I even ju- get a gift basket at the I, end. No. <laughs> Frank, should we ask Bob about what Caden's going to attempt? Yeah, to he's better? trying. Okay, yeah, so young Caden yeah. here, Bob. He's twenty years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck on that. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said he could eat three hot dogs in under a minute from the cart. Are what? you going to do that now or? He's Not gonna this do it, He's going to do it in about an hour. Because yeah, he, that's he, great. He complained they were too hot last time. He needs to let them cool off. Oh, you have to let them cool off? Yeah. Thank you, Joey Chestnut. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. So this he's man, gonna... is that, that's a professional, okay? You're right. 20. To quote Abraham Lincoln, one score. Anyway, <laughs> that's a score. Did you know that, yeah, Jeff? You look educated. It looks like you went to well, junior he, college. He's our analytical. He went to the uh, University of Missouri. Yeah, well, Missouri. that's I, I, I love yeah, Missouri. Yeah, honestly, you just you just hit it right on the head. Junior college, University what? of Missouri, I, right? I studied radio and TV broadcasting at a junior college, and I quit. Okay. How about that? <laughs> Pretty good. It really held me. It held me back. <laughs> now I'm talking to a 20 year old who wants to eat three hot dogs. <laughs> Now, Bob, you're playing the Dennis Bono show. Now, Dennis does a show. Yeah, but I, that's not why I'm here. Okay. I, I'm doing. De- Dennis does a great show. Yeah. They have an audience. Right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> have you two. have you have a you have a salad bar with a sneeze guard. That's what you have over here. And well, Alex is here with her mom. They want they wanted to see you and Elvis. Hi. So, and Alex was on the Hi. show with you last time. She said that's in, right. Yeah. And then you got replaced by a white guy. <laughs> Welcome to the Frank Nicotero way. <laughs> oh, no. I don't. Do that. I'll just stop it. Who cares? Is he talented? Is he smart? Is yeah. he uh, okay? He knows his that's all that matters. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I don't, yeah. Stop this. Wow. That I'm might not. be the nicest thing Frank's ever said about me. Yeah. Actually. Well, and it took me to bring it I out, know, right? Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Especially in that shirt. Look, uh, the point 100%. is, Old Navy called. It's time to get it back. Look. <laughs> I think that's. What I'm, I'm doing the Laugh Factory next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that because the drop is closing. It's closing down. April second. Yeah, April second, and, and it started April fourth, I believe, 1957. Was wow. it? Yeah, think about that. I wasn't even born. Think about that, Jeff. No. Jeff, how old are you? I'm 30. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> no, you look good, actually. You look very Do you still get carded? I do, actually. You look like you get carded still. Do you drink? A little bit. Jeff, you got a problem, and that's why we're <laughs> I here. Know, it's, it's so bad. This is an intervention with a sneeze guard and uh, <laughs> sneeze guard. two hot chicks off to the side. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all you can ask for in an intervention. But I'm going to be at the Trop, very excited to yeah. be there all week. And, uh, you know, I've been playing there. I played there when it was before that. The Trop Stop. It was uh, Brad Garrett. Oh, Brad Garrett's was there first. And then before that, it was the Comedy Stop. Comedy and stop. before yeah. that, it was Rodney's Place, which I did not perform at. Oh. But I ended up booking Rodney's Place at the El Rancho. Wow. And it did his HBO special. So there I know you, go. you did. That's where I first saw you. And I listen, Bob, you're fantastic. And and the, the Laugh Factory has the the, um, the Rodney booth in the back where you can sit in. And, and Yeah, it's very cool. He's got a lot of Rodney memorabilia. He yeah. also has a big statue of Paul Rodriguez. And whenever I walk in there, I hand the keys to my car. Look, the <laughs> point is, What? Paul's a friend. No, I got I, nothing on that. No, Jeff, I, and Jeff is, he's 30 there. I better not laugh. Uh, <laughs> I, I get canceled. I don't want to be canceled. Now, uh, I, the, there's a Prince tribute act there. Uh, my friend Jason, they're moving to the planet Hollywood. 
So he told me they're shutting it down. Do we know where the Laugh Factory is going yet? Yeah, they, they, they got a spot. They're probably going to announce it at the end of the month, but I don't know. He, okay, he yeah, they tell him. Harry, Harry, Harry Basil's keeping it close to the vest. Yeah, he is. By the way, I, I had a thought about tribute bands because yes. I just actually, last week I was at a place called Crawdaddy's in Visalia okay. opening for a Frank Quit Sinatra. Quit bragging. Huh? Quit bragging. Well, at least I'm working, Frank. <laughs> Okay, you're coming to the studio and you call me going, hey, can you put in a word? I, I can't. Okay, I've seen the act. I'll, you know, I'll say, give the kid a try. Right, okay. Try him on Monday. No, no one gets hurt on a Monday night show. So you're anyway, in Vesalia, Frank Sinatra tribute act. Yeah, and you know, and there's a lot of cover bands and what you're talking about, the Prince guy. Yeah. I mean, it's just analog AI. Uh, Isn't that a smart joke? That's a really smart analog AI cover band. Think, maybe not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> So I'm walking through the casino on the way over here, and okay. this is a weird thing to happen. Someone asked me where the exit was, okay. and usually that doesn't happen only during my show. <laughs> and I noticed Jeff seems to be afraid to look at you. Did you know? I saw oh, you oh, trying to talk to him, and he was just staring straight ahead. Jeff, when you get after the show, Google me. Anyway, you're going to have no yeah, idea know, how do, important do, I right, am. I'll do okay? right now, Bob. Yeah. Why don't you go to Dry Bar and check out my special? You can be pointed 7.2 million plus million views. That's one of the highest Dry Bar specials, I would it's, believe. It's in the top 10, I hear. But the thing is, it's also on Facebook. It's 3.6 million. And there's all over the place. So who knows how many really have. Rattle numbers off. It could be off. 20 million right now. It could be 20. And I'm sitting here for free. I know. <laughs> for free. I can hook you up. You've got to get like a gift or something. Thanks for being on the Frank yeah. whatever punchline we, show. You, you want a free buffet, Bob? We can get you the buffet. Oh, Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a beautiful... Have you had the buffet No, here? it's, it's a beautiful buffet. Yeah. I remember walking by it. Look, the point is, it's a buffet. Okay? Get the steakhouse. Something, Frank. I, that, that's your then I can to... get you some big names in here, and right. Jeff can go back to wherever he's from, Missouri. <laughs> Are you well, from Missouri? I, I, I'm originally... Notice how I say it? Missouri. Well, Missouri. Missouri. well there's, two, there's two things in Missouri. There's what? Missouri, yeah. and there's Missouri. That's yeah. the line of demarcation of where you want to go and where you don't want to go. Wow, the line of demarcation. <laughs> I know, big words, right? No, that was very yeah, impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was driving, I got cut off by a Jeep, and it was a Rubicon, and I couldn't cross it. Ah, uh, Rubicon. <laughs> Very good. There you go. See? Very I good. Very good. Smart joke. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and uh, so you, how long have you lived in Vegas? Because I've only been here about five months, six months. So what, what are some things you can tell me as a newbie to Vegas? Uh, well, I'm on the road all the time. Yeah. So yeah, go to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. What I can tell you, uh, it's hot in the summer. It's hot in the it's summer. It's cold in the winter. Right. And right now it's okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. What, do you want to go see something? I don't know. My wife Erin went to the Mob Museum. That's kind of nice. Maybe the, you can see which, some old relatives there, Frank. The what museum? You know, the Mob. <laughs> mob the Museum. Mob. Oh, the Mob Museum. The Mafia. Yeah, you hear about hey, that? Oh, okay, hey. it's all on a deal, oh, right, oh. Jeff? You have no idea. You're 30. <laughs> no clue. He's 30. Not a clue. You're 20 and you're thinking about a second hot dog right about now. <laughs> This is a really great team you got over here. Are, are were these the same ones from last? No, time? Matt. Matt is filling in for Ryan, who's uh, who's off today. And Matt is uh, he's a jack of all. He also hosts a sports show here. Oh, you do. He Matt? does play by play for UNLV basketball. Oh, baseball. good for you, Matt. Very you really talented. got a lot going on for you. I would get out. <laughs> At least I, I would move to go on now. to bigger and better things and watch Frank just sit in the studio going, you know, Frank, it's over. The show's done. <laughs> You can go now, Frank. You, you can go saying? back to your you can go back to your Airbnb, okay, Frank? <laughs> was there something about the tribute band that we never got to? No, it's just to? I was doing it. It's a I have questions on my mind is what I'm getting at. Okay. Like do poor white trash go to the movies just for the trailers? <laughs> or the uh, popcorn buckets. Does an itchy baker make everything from scratch? Yes. <laughs> you know, questions. Can an orphan eat at a family restaurant? <laughs> These are questions. I, yeah. If a bisexual turns up missing, will you find their picture on a carton of half and half? <laughs> These are the questions. You guys are great over there, by the way. And if you're going to be an audience, laugh out loud. Yeah. <laughs> you know, think about that. Jeff, I'm sorry you have to see all this, but that I am a comedy insultant. I come in and insult and things get better. This is what they do. Oh, I agree on the better That's part. the better. Yeah. And uh, so you're, well, how many shows? You're doing a... 14. 14, 14 I know. Two a night. Yeah, it's a lot. But you know, in the old days, when I first started coming to Vegas, uh, I played the Riviera, uh, the Tropicana, uh, not the the improv, mm -hmm. and 21 shows in a week. Oh, my God. That's so true. by Thursday, second show, all the comics would be staring at each other going, did you say that already? Did I already do yeah, that? Yeah, it's yeah. A too much. I remember doing three shows Saturdays and you get on at midnight. Oh, it's the like, worst. You it really is the worst. It's just, you do it for the money, Frank. Yeah. You don't do it for the love of the audience no not the midnight crowd on saturday <laughs> <laughs> and uh last one is there any words of wisdom you can give us about life that you've well uh, you know i you know, i think it was socrates who said isn't that sad you all got quiet like i'm gonna quote socrates <laughs> i did we did get quiet i thought there was some profound but, things coming but there is a, uh, 
Dale Carnegie said, when fate hands you lemon, make lemonade. Now, mm. you young kids, don't bitch and complain. You turn it into something better, yeah, right? I go. think that's how they came up with spam. Right. <laughs> I think somebody gave somebody a pig's ass right. and said, see what you can do with it. Make sure you need a key to get in. <laughs> Why is that? You got to turn the key on spam. Young 20 year old, I know you just pull a top, but when I was a kid, we used a key because we respected the spam. That's oh a plus 50 God. joke. Right that there. is. I, I that got because really I just had my birthday on Friday. Oh, Monday. really? Happy yeah. birthday, man. Yeah. Yeah. They're very special birthdays if you think about them with only, you know, 9 billion people on the planet and 365 <laughs> days to choose from. Wow, what are the odds? <laughs> well, that was a math joke for the audience. And technically this year, 366 days. That's right. It's a leap, leap year. If people, I actually on my Facebook, I had three people had a leap year birthday. Oh well, there you yeah, go. I, it was great because I don't have to wish them happy birthday for another four years. <laughs> you do, do the away? math. You do the math. Like you were going to eat three hot dogs, but you're thinking about four. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you do the math. And tell us about the Dennis Mono show. How this works. How it happens. I Dennis. It's a been... live studio yeah. audience. Yeah. Dennis comes out and sings. I go out and do a little stand up. I sit next to Dennis. I make fun of him and I leave. There you go. <laughs> No, it's a great show. He's a, and it's a it's a syndicated radio program. Yeah. And I, here's a true story. This was years ago. I was in L.A. at my house mowing my backyard on Sunday afternoon, and I'm listening to the radio, and it came on the Dennis Bono show. So how about that? Oh. And I said I said to the lawnmower, one day I'm going to be on that show because <laughs> I talk to my lawnmower. There you go. What's because it's there for me. There you go. Is it a self-propelled one? Because that was the I haven't had one in a while. Because no, uh, it's I pushed it. Myself. You pushed him. Uh, it was a push Bob, mower. I, listen, I, I know we're running out of time. No, we're fine. No, well, I, how are we doing on time? I, you know, I just well, I got to sh share something with you. You know, Erin's yeah. from San Francisco. My wife, Jeff, and she's from San Francisco, and she came back on a trip unpacking her suitcase. Okay. Right, and a cockroach flies out, and I'm thinking even the cockroaches don't want to be in California. <laughs> You know, I got yelled at, Bob. I was, I was. I, oh, you got yelled at. You're no, going to get yelled at. Why, no. why don't you don't speak? And I, you'll never be yelled at again. <laughs> no, I, I cut someone off in traffic and they came up to land. They're like, go back to California. Is that a bit? No one wants California here in Nevada. I no, they don't. No, no. Depending on the way they vote. They, they, they're, they're okay. <laughs> then they're okay with it. That's all right, a, so these it, are all natives right there. I got a uh, feeling. Native? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Born here? That means native. No, right? That doesn't mean you put on a headdress and. Go out look for a peace pipe. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think Jeff, I might be the only one that was born here out of the back. Oh, come on, there's a lot of there's a lot of Native Americans in Missouri. Yeah, that's right. I, they, well, the I chief, played the, the casino. Well, they're the, chief, they're the Chiefs still. The Chiefs, that's come right. On, yeah. How can we forget that? There I'm you go. And your lovely wife, Erin. I can't yeah. wait to say hi to her. She's waving to you again, and that's and I, Frank. That's all you need to do. Okay, that is. just wave. I'll okay. just wave. I yeah, you don't need to say hi. Can I hug her? Let's, no, go no. ahead. I don't care. Right. It's what been does about it 30 years. Uh, right, ladies? You know what I mean. I've You're known so Aaron. Tired. Anyway, <laughs> they are. Look at them. They're exhausted. They don't want to be in this studio. No, <laughs> Who followed me from this on Twitter, though? Or the X or whatever. Whatever it's called. I, I actually tweeted out. I a follow photo. you. You know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We follow each yeah. other. That's enough, right? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I only want one follower, and it's really worked out. Thank you, Frank. Uh, I'm going to tell the other twenty-five thousand. Yeah, go away. I got Frank Nicotero. Okay, he sounds I, like a gum you take to quit smoking. I, well, it's, uh, and then a hot dog too. And a hot, I, the hot gonna, dog. I'll, I'll text you. I'll, I'll text you, or I'll, I'll let you know how Caden did on the hot dog thing. Yeah, I'm very excited about that, Caden. And I'll make an announcement live at the Laugh Factory next week. There you go. And then the whole audience will go. But do you have any jokes? <laughs> <laughs> you have many jokes. You have more jokes than I, probably anybody. You know what? I have a few jokes. I have, you know, and it, it, it's about people with me. I love yeah. people. I had a woman come up. I love this story because okay. she came up to me. She says, I have 15 cats, Jeff, right? 15 cats. <laughs> that's a lot of cats. Yeah, that's a lot of cats. Yeah. And I said, well, I have one. And she said, what's it called? I said, normal. <laughs> It's actually normal just to have one cat. And no offense. You look like you look like you're about five or six about now. And I think dogs. I think dogs. Are you dog people? We love our doggies. Yeah, a big dog person. Here's an interesting story out of Stockbridge, Georgia. Have you okay. ever been there? Do you have a, like a storage unit there or anything? I, I, I've never heard of that place. Well, Stockbridge. A, a tiger chasing a dog was shot and killed. And uh, luckily, uh, the weird part is they don't know where the tiger came from or how the dog got a gun. <laughs> Now, that's a happy story, people. That's a happy ending right there now, for wait, doggies. Uh, real quick, I'm going to end with a story that happened the other what, day in Vegas. Were you going to call from Roy or, or, or Siegfried no. about the tiger? <laughs> no, no, I don't think they're okay. around anymore. They're not, they're not. So did you see the story the other day at the Venetian? The guy yeah. got into his bed 
and there was a scorpion in the bed, and he claimed that it stung him in his in Test- his privates. Yeah. Oh, you can't say you that. You can say testicles. Testicles, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and he he's, he doesn't he just wants an apology from the hotel, but now he's got he's lawyering up. I mean, something like this seems like. Well, that was the bad news of the story. The good news of the story is about a thousand bed bugs took it down. (laughs) (laughs) So the scorpion's been killed. All right, there you go. By the way, this is actually the second time he got something happen to his crotch. When he saw the resort fee, he felt like he was kicked in the nuts. What is this resort fee crap yeah. anymore? Wait, it's, it's like, exciting. You want to use the you know the hallway? It's a fee. <laughs> you want to walk your room? There's a fee for it. It's a resort fee. Well, and I remember they, the Riviera was doing that many many years really? ago. Yeah, and I remember the first time they put it. They blamed it on an energy cost or something. Right, and that's how it starts. Right, it's like a tax. Once they tax you, they're not going to get rid of that no. tax. There was a tax on the books for 118 years for World War for the Spanish American War on our telephones. Really? To pay for it? Yeah. No. So they don't get rid of the taxes, right, yeah. Jeff? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you've just... been to Independence, right? Home of uh, Harry Truman. Of course. Or Harry Truman, the president. Yeah, have you been to his? Little thing that yeah, I went it's there. just right outside of Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City. Yeah. Here, here I come. A yeah. lot of kooky <laughs> women down there, and they look like Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Better hair than me, though. <laughs> I need a sip of Big show if folks are, are, are in town and watching this, but this is, goes over the interweb. This we goes can, all over the We can get people from Singapore. Could people we? Worldwide. They, could, they could fly in right now. They could come in and catch the I've Saturday actually show. been to Singapore, so yeah. yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. I worked with a Chinese comedian who spoke English, and it was very, he had a very funny thing. He says, We don't have superheroes in China. Right. Uh, we have, uh, you know, like you have Captain America. I think we should have Captain China. Right. And he borrows money from Captain America. <laughs> Or the other way around. <laughs> well, now it's America it's, both. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Now it's changed. <laughs> and again, this was years ago, and I wish I remember. His name was uh, Ping or something. <laughs> it wasn't matter. Is he going to come after me now? Yeah, right. Exactly. And here comes now. This is our sports book director right now, Chris Andrews, coming in. He loves you. He, your hey, first, Chris, a- come on in. Your first appearance on the show. He was. I think he wasn't. He was off that day, and he watched. And he goes, "Bob Zaney's." I said, "Good news, Chris. Bob Zaney's coming back." Hey, Chris. Good to see you, man. Okay. Hi, Bob. <laughs> He's from Pittsburgh, he too. Have, they, no. You know oh, what? He said Damn it. it. He said it. He what said happens? It. You have to you eat, does he have to eat another I hot dog? St- <laughs> <laughs> no, I said my hometown again, and I can't oh. say it. I get penalized. So he's also from uh, the well, Steel City. Well, it's okay to say where you're from. I, I, I'm not name-dropping West Covina, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, people. And the thing about West Covina, if you Google it, there's only one West Covina in all of America. Yeah, you, you know, like Springfield. Like Clinton, there's every there's. yeah, there's uh, Springfield. Yeah, Missouri. Another <laughs> it, it always comes back to Missouri, doesn't it? Uh, it always always comes yeah. back to Missouri. I was yeah. just there. I was in Sullivan. You know where Sullivan is? Outside of St. Louis. Uh, <laughs> it's a southeast, southeast, uh, southeast of St. Louis, or no? So you're one of these guys in geography. I have no clue. I have no, no clue where Sullivan it, is. It doesn't matter. It no doesn't clue. really. There's so many places that you're never going to go. Do you understand? You're here in Vegas now, right? Actually, I'll ask you this real quick because yeah. one thing with Missouri that, and I told Frank this in the past, they love butchering names. Yeah. So there's a town in Missouri, and this is my favorite, spelled Nevada, like our home state. Okay. That goes by Nevada, Missouri. And they also have that in Iowa, and I've played that place. It's the Talent Factory. Uh, it was a, a theater, and it's in Nevada, Iowa. That's great. Wow. So they do that. It, it, and again, see, again, it goes back to West Covina. There's no other West Covina. <laughs> right, no, <there's- laughs> that's it. I, that's how special I am, Frank. Right, West You say incredible. Pittsburgh, they think Steelers, and they think about that big fight they had at the uh, – steel mill and people died remember right, that yeah, well, was, we tried to all talk union. about that yeah right. anyway <laughs> uh anyway are, now, are you the sports director are you coming on the air to talk about something do i have to no, go we're, we're right ra- he wanted to come in and say hi to you and see if you, you want know to know what this friend. is this is like an iq test find the pretty one in this anyway uh, <laughs> yeah. uh is that your wife is that your no uh, he, he's coming on you is that your mommy oh yeah. is, it, is it take your mom to work day <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's all changing now. It's her off day. She came in to see you and to see uh, Elvis. She didn't come in to see me. We had Donnie Edwards who's playing over in the showroom later tonight and then to see you because she was here the first time and wanted to and see you. He, and he, he's an Elvis impersonator? Yeah, he's the it's best. Ben? He's ben? the best. There, you know, I, we used to, I did the Jerry Lewis telethon here for here, many years. I know. And we've had a few Elvis impersonators on there. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. And then again, you know, don't even think about it, Jeff. Right. <laughs> 
I mean, I just I know, can't believe... I know you're lonesome tonight, but it's not going to happen, okay? <laughs> I just can't believe that uh, Elvis Costello would that have that many impersonators. Anyway, uh, oh, I want to think... Baby, maybe you should name drop Pittsburgh right now after I that. I can't! That joke bombed. Um, after that boy that I bombed. Bob... You are going to, I don't know if you need the buffet or not, you and Aaron, I can make it happen. That's what I, I'm saying. I want I you to make it happen, and I, and I want to give it, go out there and find a homeless person, which is really hard to do nowadays, you can, yeah. and, and give it to them, because they deserve it, oh, and then, of course, that will clear the buffet yeah. because of the smell. <laughs> Look, the point is, it's about people with me. I love people. <laughs> and I truly believe without people, none of us would be here. We wouldn't be. <laughs> Bob, where can people follow you? It's Bob Zaney at Bob Zaney. I have the official Bob Zaney channel on YouTube. You, okay. can, uh, you can follow me there. It's free to do. And you can see great clips of my career. I've been doing yeah. this 47 years. I started at 15. Can yeah. you believe that, Frankie? Yeah, I started. 15. I was 19. When you started? Yeah. Yeah, they still talk about it. Yeah, they still <laughs> Remember they well, they said you you were nineteen and they said you're a Steely Dan song right Hey nineteen very yeah. good yeah. Uh, that, that was lost on uh, Caden does it? Steely Dan I, I, I'm on uh, Instagram I'm on TikTok and Zany Baby on TikTok. you are Zany yeah it's Baby. a fan page I'm not involved it's not on my phone okay someone else is doing it and it's got thousands of thousands of thousands of followers and you see the you see the metrics you know about the metrics there he knows oh, numbers we he's know our number we know about it. the metrics. And plus 50-year-olds are on TikTok watching me. Isn't yeah. that weird? Yeah, that's and then I got a 20-year-old, and he, he asked me about hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Kane, the gauntlet's been thrown down. Uh, this has been one of our best shows. Uh, it really had, has. We had and Elvis, I think the fact Jeff. that you had me on here with Jeff, the, the, what he brought to the table, these stories of Missouri. Oh, I my helped. goodness. I really hope you could do <laughs> a full helped. hour of this crap. It helps. It always helps. I it mean, doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted you to be warmed up for the Dennis oh my Bono, God. Bono I, show. Why are you jealous? You're I, such a jealous bastard. I'm not. My God. I do other shows, Frank. <laughs> Okay, well, you I did told this you. One first. I want to see other shows, Frank. Right. That's the only way this is going to work out between us. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, legend of comedy, Bob Zaney, right uh, here. Donnie Edwards, go see him. Go see him at the Laugh Factory. At, at Bob the Zaney on the Twitter. I still call it Twitter. I don't care. Yeah, we'll call it Twitter. Uh, the, there's one of the last people to ever play the Trump, actually. If you yeah, think about it. Uh, third of the last. Of third the, of the last. Yeah, yeah. So it's very exciting for me. There's two ways to get rid of a hotel <laughs> in this town. They implode it, or they hire or me. They hire Bob Zaney. <laughs> And on that note, we will see you guys tomorrow. Listen to this, Bob. Tomorrow, we have Jay White, the Neil Diamond impersonator, who's in the this show. This is exciting weekend. stuff. We, it we, really is. It's going to be a hot August night tomorrow. Ah, see, I get that. And Chip Chinnery. Do you know Chip? Can oh, I know hear? Chip. Yeah, I loved him in uh, Willy Wonka. No. <laughs> Chip Chinnery, that's more of like a Mary Poppins. No, Chip's a very yeah, funny Chip's man. Yeah, Chip's great. He was, we, we pre-taped him the other day. We had technical Oh, you issues. had to pre-tape him? Well, we're going to roll Why, and I had to come in? Well, we like, because you live here. He's uh, in Los Angeles. Oh, is he? Did you do a Zoom call thing? No, well, we did. Did you wear know. a mask? No, I <laughs> Did you get a double vax before you talked I to did. him? I always. You're a sicko. You know <laughs> that? You need help. Matt Never, thank you for Vaccine's filling in. Vaccine's never made it to Missouri, right? right? No, <laughs> I, I played Deja Vu in Columbia, Missouri. I played I the played Funny Bones. Years ago. Yeah. It's a, the horrible setup of a room. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. I, I remember it being pretty good when I was there. Yeah, I well, well, you, well, Frank, actually, tell Bob what they told no, you when you're done. Come on. No, the first night there, the owner came in and goes, you're really funny. I said, thanks. He goes, most guys we get from TV suck because I just finished Street Smarts. And he's oh, like, yeah. oh, mostly we get people in and after the first night, word spreads. He goes, but you're real. I said, well, yeah, I've been doing stand-up since I was 19, not quite yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you so. got to play that 19 card. Look, <laughs> here's the thing about that, though. And I know we're talking Freddie DeMarco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the best stories ever, you know. And then he saw, and later on that night, he saw you on TV and he said, Boy, you suck on TV. <laughs> but I was good in the clouds. And by the way, I did Street Smarts and he it did. never aired. It never aired sure. because I got every question right. He was too smart. They we, won an idiot we, to be we, on that show. We interviewed, we got some Florida, or, uh, Vegas people. We had Sinbad was on. Sinbad made the show. I love Sinbad. Sinbad. We did a show together with Dick Clark in 1984. Uh, it's somewhere. Cruise, keep keep on cruising. It was called. All right, we're gonna look. And that he up. introduced me from a bus. Oh, really? Well, and I did my little stand up. Keep on cruising. You did. Yeah, 1984 before Jesus. you were born. Right. No, I was born. No, you weren't born. We had Sinbad. I was, I, was, I, was, I was not 1994 is when you're born. 93. 93. Yeah. Wow. During we had her? David Brenner on too. Brenner was on the show. Oh, that's and great. yourself. Yeah, talk about more other people who are no longer with us. <laughs> David passed on, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He yeah, did. great. Good. Sorry. But he made, you were too smart, Bob. You're too smart, and you're still smart and funny and yeah. handsome. Thank you. You know, <laughs> now I can't be mean anymore. No. 
and I, we've gone four minutes over. I know we have. Thank our, God nobody watches the show. There's tons of. This is the busiest chat. Bob's uh, Paul Reno. Paul said, B- "Bob Zaney has me crying." Uh, Bob Zaney. Jo- Jeff Parle's hilarious. Great segment. See that. Zany is the best habit. Jeff was hilarious. Oh, hilarious. Wow, what a, what a win for Dean me. Dean Hilt says Zany is the best. <laughs> have him on more. So you have to come back more. Yeah, and think about maybe like a budget. Yo. <laughs> you know, maybe something where it's not a buffet and it's actually cash. Do you realize you know, the cash? That way you can get real talent in here. <laughs> You, right, you, we'll know, see you, you don't tomorrow. have to promote people who are dead Chip that were on the show. And Chris Andrews will be in on Friday. I we had Shecky Green in here. Shecky will be here. No, uh, Norm Cosby on. and Mort Hall is going to make an appearance. <laughs> uh, I'm Frank Nicotero for Punchlines. Line stands for Live in Nevada, every show.